Hey, Catlin here with your cool down for lesson five, eighth grade math. And it says one of the triangles pictured is a rotation of triangle ABC, and one of them is a reflection. So ABC is your original. Uh, one of these green or the red one is the rotation, and the other one is the reflection. So number one, identify the center of rotation and label the rotated image PQR. So let's talk about which one's rotated. Um, if you look at the blue one, it's the original, you can see that the red one is a reflection of it because it looks like it's been folded over the x-axis. So the rotated one is the one that's to the left of the blue, the green one right here, and that's the one that we need to figure out the center of rotation for. So what's happening is from the blue to the green, you have a rotation. And let's just, just show that. It's kind of getting sent right this point is being rotated over to here uh, this point's getting rotated to here and this point's getting rotated to here so you can kind of see the changes of the corresponding points as they're wrapping around now i ha i wish i had patty paper that i could show this to you but I, it's difficult to do in a video so the best that i could come up with is i have this image that i've that i've kind of superimposed from uh, copying it here okay so it's the same image right here and i want you to notice that this bottom left hand corner is the origin okay the bottom left hand corner is the origin when i click on it it actually gives me some options of things that i can do uh, up in the corner let me see if i can get that pulled up again so when i click on it it gives me these options and one of them is to rotate it to the left 90 degrees so when i rotate this to the left 90 degrees it gives me this image. Now remember, down here is the corner over the origin. So I'm going to place that corner on the origin, and you're going to see that it's going to land right on top of that green one and its location of where it's at. So that tells me that they took it and they rotated it around the origin point. If you have your patty paper, you can actually place your pencil right here and then rotate it around, and you would see that it would come to that green spot. So identify the center of rotation. You could say origin or zero, zero as your ordered pair. And then it says to label everything, P, Q, R. So what was A is now P. So A becomes P right here. Q, okay, used to be B. So the B is now Q. And then the R is lined up with where the C is. So P, Q, R is the new shape. That one rotated. Now, like we mentioned earlier, it's reflecting from the blue one to the red one down here. It's flipped over. Imagine folding this x-axis right along here, increasing it along the x-axis, and folding it and stamping that blue triangle on top of the red triangle. It would be a perfect mirrored image of reflection, and it's doing it over this horizontal line, which we call our line of reflection. But we're going to identify it as the x-axis because that's the one that it's flipping over. And then it says label at X, Y, Z. So A, B, C becomes X, which is here. B re responds to Y, it corresponds with that one, and C corresponds with Z. The actual order of the numbers in there are important because A, B, and C, and X, Y, and Z should be in the same location because they're order. And so you should see A goes to X, B goes to Y, C goes to Z. Same thing with the, the other situation. So that was something that some of you weren't doing. You weren't labeling PQR and XYZ. Make sure you get that by Friday or you're going to maybe miss a few points on your, on your homework. See you guys.